Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial about how to clean your bearings in better quality than the other one. It was like a two-parter thing, but it wasn't really as good as quality. So I'm going to be doing this in HD. And uh, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to be cleaning my Super Swiss 6 bearings by Bones. And um, I'm going to be using the, uh, the Bones kit because I'm pretty sure that's the one that most people have. Um, I'll, I'll kind of... My other video, I use this one. I'll just run through real quickly about how to use it if you have this one. I do like this one better though, but uh, I'm just gonna be using this one for this video. And uh, for the materials, just go in my other video. I have one of those. And uh, so basically, I'm all set up and let's get started. All right guys, so what I did was I took off all the bearing shields from all the bearings. So this is how you do it, okay? You're gonna take a razor blade and you need to be very careful with this, okay? You really don't wanna cut yourself. I actually made that mistake one time I accidentally wiped across the uh, my floor and this thing was on it and I hurt my pinky really bad so I really recommend do not uh, like use this with a lot of caution or ask your parents to do this um, so and I, I recommend wearing gloves too because there's a lot of oil I really don't want to get my hands dirty <laughs> I'm kind of a germaphobe so um, but not that much so what you do as you can see the bearing shield you want to put it inside and then basically just pry it out see you can also use a uh, thumbtack if you want. And uh, what you you take the shield and just set it aside. Um, just like that, okay? So that is how you take off the bearing shield. All right, guys. So now what you want to do is take your uh, bearing and wipe off all the, uh, the gunk inside of it, okay? But this is not cleaning it. This is just taking out most of the stuff. Because, you know, like taking a bath, you don't want to, uh, you know bathe in your own filth so basically it won't do anything if you do that so that's basically what it should look like then uh it would still be a little bit dirty just taking out most of the stuff on the outside so this is what your little pair of towels should look like all right so guys for the owls kit uh which one to do as you can see is uh stack them up just like a uh with all the little uh things that comes inside so it comes with about i think one, two, I think six of these. What you do is you just stack up all the bearings. You put it in like that, and you get the other bearing. Stack it on top, and you want it to be in all in all in one direction. See, like that. Then you get the base, the same thing as this one, and then put it in right there. Okay, so that's what's gonna. Look, oh, crap. That's what's gonna look like. <laughs> Whoops. And uh, the good thing about this, which I like, is that when you're done rinsing it, uh, I mean, not rinsing it, cleaning it, you're gonna, you can roll it on uh, like a paper towel to dry it, which is good. But uh, in this video, I'm going to be using the Bones kit because I'm pretty sure those are the, that's the one most of you guys have, all right? So this is what it should look like on the Bones, on the Bones bearing kit. It should, uh, it start off, it should start off with the bearing and all spaces in between, and then it should end with the bearing because there's only seven spacers. And uh, you can actually make one of these. As you can see, there's just a bolt, a little rubber gasket right there. And uh, like a bolt at the very bottom with a wing nut. So you can make one of these, but I prefer making it smaller. Because if it's big, uh, the cleaner won't really uh, penetrate through all the, uh, the little holes, you know. It's better to be small and compact, so it's easier to clean. Alright, so there we go. Now I'm going to pour some of the uh, cleaner in, alright. So this is the cleaner right here. And the other uh, video I use Zep. I mean, that's fine too. Just as long as it's a degreaser and uh, it's citrus because citrus is environmental friendly and it works the best, I think. So this is the spray one. I just take the little thing off because I'm not really spraying. And you pour all the way to the bottom of the circle, okay? But for the Aus kit, all you can do is pour up to about one third, which is basically the same thing as bone. I think about the bottom there is about one third or one fourth. So what you're going to do is just pour that's about right. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's about right. Or you can do a little bit more. All right. So there. Sorry, the camera's at an angle, so I can't really show you. At, at an, if I hold the thing at an angle, it won't look like that. All right. So let me just screw the uh, the spray thing back on the just cleaner set that aside now we're ready to go so all I gotta do is put that inside 
Make sure it's tight, otherwise it'll be spraying everywhere. All right, so there we go. Whoops, everything's on straight. All right, here we go. We just shake it. All right, so now after all that, after all that uh, we're just gonna set this aside right now. And what we're gonna do, we're going to clean our shields, okay? Now this is how I do them. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do them, but this is just how I do them. So you see there's eight. What I do is, let me see. I just throw them all in the sink, like that. I mean, they're rubber, it's fine. And I'm not going to use water. I'm actually going to use this spray bottle. There you go. The spray part to just spray them. Alright, so let's just switch that to on. And spray it like that. See? It's that simple. Just make sure you always turn that off. This thing. And uh, what you want to do, just kind of just flip it around and stuff. Just make sure it's like... As long as you get the degreaser on it, it should wipe away all the uh, the grit and stuff. That's why I like using the gloves because if the citrus gets on your fingers, it'll take away all the oils in your fingers, it'll kind of make them irritated and dry. So that's why I recommend wearing gloves. All right. All right. So now to clean the uh, or dry the, uh, sp the little shields, you just take it out of the thing just, and then just dry it off. See? Just like that. And then make sure your fingertips are dry. I mean, you can't really feel with the gloves. Just like wipe them off with the uh, paper towel just to make sure, okay? Because now you're going to have to start making sure everything's dry because you're going to start drying all the bearings, all right? So then once you're done with all that, there's still going to be some residue. Just rinse it with water. Let it drain, all right? All right, so this is what the uh, water or cleaner looks like inside. As you can see, it's a little bit all black and stuff. And uh, so what we're going to do is just open it up. And then just tap to make sure you get all the bubbles out. All right. Now why don't we just set that aside and let you see the water. See, it's it's still a little bit clear, but there's probably can't see because of the screen. Uh, but it is a little bit darker. All right. So that's what it should look like. There should be bubbles in there. And then uh, what I do. I do not rinse it, okay? In my previous year, I did rinse it, uh, but I figured out this way that I didn't have to rinse it. So what I did, I just kind of moved all these around to get some of the bubbles out. And then I just leave them there, leave all the bubbles there. It's fine because I'm going to dry them really quickly, all right? All right, so I just took off all the bearings from the uh, the kit. As you can see, I put all the stuff inside. All I'm going to do is rinse them with hot water later when I'm all done. So just leave it open so uh, air can flow through. So this is just supposed, supposed to be what it looks like right now. There are some... Focus. There are some bubbles still inside, but it's alright. Because I'm going to dry them in just right now. So what I'm going to be using is... And as you can see, there's a little bit of wet right there, which means it's already starting to drain. So I'm going to be using this... The, the cleaning duster, the pressurized air, the spray between all the balls, okay? So just like this. And on the back too. All right, so now it should be completely dry. Let me just make sure my fingers are dry. All right, they're good. So this is a perfectly clean bearing it non lubed perfectly clean bearing it's going to run through all these real quickly then i'll get back to you in just a sec about how to put on the lube and your bearing shields oh yeah one quick thing with this you need to take breaks in between um like you probably do about four at a time just to let this thing rest otherwise this thing will cause frostbite and the, and the more time you use it the more air the less air comes out which makes it weaker so i recommend using this uh N not as much okay so probably about four rest about one minute don't worry these will not rest if you're that really worried it will not rest in one minute so let's let it rest for a minute otherwise it'll hear like a sound 
which means it's starting to get cold and uh, you just want to make sure that it's always kept at a perpendicular angle to a uh, or parallel angle to the ground just like that you don't want to angle it down or up it may cause some damage uh, or may even explode I'm not sure just is a warning for you guys all right all right guys so now I'm gonna be leaving up all my bearings with this bone speed cream uh, See, it says apply one to two drops. Uh, so I normally do two. I used to do three, but it's actually bad because if there's too much lubrite, more dirt will get attached to the lubricant. Okay, so like I think there's like a Howcast video about how to put so much lube in it. That actually makes your bearing slow down due to all the gunk that's going to get inside of it. Okay, so put less is more. Okay, one drop, that's that, that's two less. Okay, like. So two drops is like the ideal, three is like if you're on really nice pavement, like there's no dirt's going to get inside, and that is probably about like, there's a slim chance that's actually possible. So I recommend putting two drops in each one, okay? So let me just quickly do, just make sure, one, two, one, two. All right, so there we go. And that's how you lube the stuff. So now what you do, you're just gonna get your shields. I recommend putting them face down because it's easier to pick up. If they're face up like that, it's like hard to pick up. I'm like that, okay. So just put them on. Just make sure they snap. Okay. See, like that. Okay. Now we're here. we are not done yet. So keep some videos end like that. No, we. we, we this is Riptide Dervis's channel. Okay, we are not done yet. So you just want to make sure because of the glove, it won't let you spin all the way because there's like, like a lot of stuff blocking it for the spin. Just make sure it's all the way in, right? Spin it around, push it all the way, spin it up just to make, mix up all the lube right. All right. Make sure all the shield's on. Let's see how I'm putting them in this order. Watch, you'll, you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. Kind of ship them up from like that. Up all the lube. Now, as you can see, there's some little some marks, right? That's where the lube was, and that's why I'm gonna do this thing right now. Make sure it's all top. Mix it up. So what you do is you fold the other piece of towel over it. Can I just tap the? Uh, see, look at that. Look how much that was coming off. You want to take all the lube off from all the sides, and you may want to get even an extra paper towel to do that. And then put them in here. Nice. That's great. That's perfect. Whoops, dropped my mic there for a minute. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Leave them right there. Just like that, okay? Okay, something's seriously wrong with this bearing shield. It's really angled it weird. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks really weird. So like I said, you just fold it over and then just kind of tap on the backs to make it all the lube fall out. And that's it, guys. That's how you clean, uh, your longboard bearings are done. You just got to put them in now. I have a video about how to put bearing spacers in and out already. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this high quality video. And I hope to see you next time. Peace.